Hello everyone and welcome back to Doom Eternal. Take a look at this picture. Today we are heading to Erdak, which is essentially heaven as far as I can gather. We've been to hell before many times, but uh, this is going to be our first foray into this universe's version of heaven. As f it, that, that's what I'm getting from it. The makers are essentially the angels, but because this is the Doom universe, they have turned evil and <laughs> the angels are in league with hell, which is an interesting take. Um, and yeah, we've just fired ourselves through a beam into the sky. What challenges are there? Acquire one toy, kill 12 demons in midair, and kill five maker drones with precision bolt headshots. Maker drones. Do we know what maker drones are? Not sure. I guess we'll find out. Um... Oh. Oh no, we did finish off the suit. I thought we I thought we still had a couple to get, but no, we've just got extra extra suit points. Uh and of course, let us let us see is there anything we want to spend these points on? I mean, no. <laughs> Not really. I I've, I've got everything. I guess we'll save up for the charge time decrease for this thing that I never use. I never use that either. Oh well. Oh well. So an interesting point to note is that um, we've been told that demons, that makers cannot set foot in hell and demons cannot set foot in Erdak. But obviously, this being a doom level, demons are going to be setting foot in Erdak, so I'm curious as to what the, uh, the story implications of that will be. This looks dope. This is... <laughs> This is very cool. Same vibe as uh, the Unmaker. Reds and whites. Oh man. Magnificent, isn't it? Now quickly, the Con Maker is nearby. We must stop her before she completes the ritual and gains full control over the icon of sin. Disrupt the ritual. The music is like this haunting chant. Damn, <laughs> look at this. This is, this is gorgeous. This is stunning. Oh god, that is, that is very nice. Oh hey, cheeky bit of, cheeky bit of lore to start us off. Erdak. Story of the Makers. This is Erdak, the homeworld of the Makers. A brief age analysis of the structures and architecture here indicates that this world is older than any other in our databases. Similarities can also be drawn to multiple pan-galactic religions, indicating that the Maker's influence was not limited to Argent de Nur, and that over eons, their influence has spread across the galaxy, and potentially, the universe. Some imagery is akin to religious icons in the Orion Cygnus arm of the Milky Way, an area which includes Ur. The name Erdak is common tongue in the Maker language, but can be approximately translated to the word for paradise, or heaven, in hundreds of different languages further cementing the theory that the Makers have had a religious impact on mortal beings for millions of years. Despite their seeming godliness, the Makers have a past. At some point in their ageless history, there is mention of the Father, a logical, alien entity that endowed the Makers with their vast knowledge and technical ability. Analysis of Maker artifacts in scripture indicate that the Father may have been a singular being that split to form the Maker race, or instead transferred his incalculable power into the vast structure known as Erdak, which then birthed the Makers in perpetuity. Perpetuity. Words. Perpetuity is not a word I read often. It seems that the Makers, though exceptionally long-lived, eventually suffer some form of biological and mental degradation, at which point they undergo a process known as the Transfiguration, wherein they allow a voluntary death and resurrection somehow tied to the Father. This process may have been complicated or damaged in the recent past. There are no records of how the Father came to the Makers, when it was first discovered, or if it had any physical form before the Makers. The first mention of the Father is in regard to the building named the Luminarium. It was a temple of sorts, where Makers would go to seek answers. The essence of the Father was stolen by one of their own, a Maker referred to as the Seraphim. Who the Seraphim is, or what he did with the Father's consciousness, is unknown. Records show that one day, the Luminarium simply ceased to communicate, and that a deep scan of its databanks revealed no remaining trace of the entity. Erdak itself exists in an anchor state, 
utilising highly advanced dimensional shift technology to allow a static position at a sub-quantum level. This essentially inverts their position in relation to Hell. Both planes of existence are fixed outside the bounds of the known universe, a lower and higher reality. The Khan Maker oversees all within Erdak, and now utilises Argent Energy to prevent the transfiguration. Hmm. It feels like that the father story feels like that has to go somewhere. Whether or not it'll be in this game, I don't know, because it feels like we've got to be right at the end now. <laughs> in the Angel's fucking homeworld, on, on our way to hunt down the big bad. Um, but that feels like that has to go somewhere. An entity that created the Angels, who then disappeared without a trace. Surely that will lead somewhere, if not this game, then next one. Hmm. Curios. Okay, nothing more down here. Anything down here? I assume we're jumping on this? Jumping into this? Ooh! Defying gravity. Do 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 do. Yes, please. Yes, please! Oh, nice, nice. We have two lovely little insta-kills at our disposal. You can't say no. You just can't. It would actually be illegal. Nothing else around here, just that. Okie doke. Whoa! Almost, almost fired me off the edge. Anything hiding around the edges here? A little bit of armor, which I'm actually full on. Very nice, very nice. What's that? Oh, there's a map over there. Okie doke, okie doke. Oh. Okay, this is getting a bit more complicated. Check there's nowhere else to jump to around here. It does not seem so. Uh, oh god, wait, where's this taking us? It doesn't look like there's a platform. Or is that firing? Okay, no, that's firing us over to that other ring. Huh! Okay, that did not go where I expected it to. <laughs> That did not go where I expected it to at all. Isn't that where we just came from? Or am I supposed to be aiming left? It seemed like it was firing me over to that building. But I swear that's where we just came from, isn't it? We came over there. Yeah, it must be. Hmm. Let's see if I can push left. There we go, there we go. You can affect it in the air. Oh no! Oh, it saved it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I pressed jump again because I didn't think we were going to make it and then I vastly overshot it, but luckily it saved our position as being over here. Thank you, God. Okay, so this one we're angling ourselves over the le left. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was weird. Okay. Oh, heart in my mouth. Yikes. That was, uh, that was pretty tense. Hmm. Looks like this area is quite spread out. Oh no, I've just noticed in the top left, there's three yellow pips at the end, which means boss fight. Is this the last level? I wonder if this is the last level. How long do you get? You do not get long. Is there anything down below or is that death? I'm guessing that's death.
Phew. This looks so cool, man. <laughs> oh, this is this is just unlike anything else we've seen in Doom until now. Very, very cool. Okay, so there is something up top on this, but is there a way I can see of getting up to it? Hmm. There's over there, but how'd you get up there? Oh, hello. That's nice. <laughs> Does it not take you up fully? There's nowhere to... Oh! Never mind. Oh, it's a mastery token. Interesting. What do we want to master? Do we want to master this? No. I refuse. It's a point of personal pride. Mm, could do remote detonate. Eh. Can't do that one. Energy shield we can't do. So actually the only one we can get is sticky bombs. We've got both of these. So it actually has to be remote detonate then. <laughs> we haven't bought all the other upgrades. Sure. Let's have a look at that. Nice. That does look pretty cool. I'm sure I will never use it, but it does look pretty cool. Okay, and then we're going over that way. No, wait, that's the way we came. We're going left. I think that's the end of the secret, right? Yeah. I love the haunting music. Oof. Oh, are these the Maker drones? I think we saw one of them in a um in a Slayer Gate, right? And you headshot them, and then they pop out a whole load of uh, what you call it? Ammo? Oh God. We're heading into our first fight room in Erdak. Welcome, Seraphim. We really should have put on the white suit for this, honestly. <laughs> oh man. Hi. You cannot stop the procession. Wanna bet? We will not be able to control it! No! That's a big boy. This seems bad. This seems not good for us. Weak point, Maker Drone. The Maker Drone is a ranged fodder demon. While most of its body is armored, its head is a weak point. Shooting its head deals extra damage and a headshot kill drops ammo and health. I'm pretty sure it's a one-shot kill as well with the, with the precision bolt. Ah, oh, but they... They yeet themselves around a bit. Okay. Hey, friend. 
friend. It's been a while. Damn it. Okay, you know what? It's going to be a lot harder than I was initially anticipating to accurately be doing this. God! Ah, oh, trapped again. I love being trapped. Don't know what I was doing there. Being an absolute moron, I think. Is there really no health to be found around here? God damn it. I was going to try and headshot them to get health, but apparently that's not happening. Okay, uh, new plan. Damn it. Okay, oh, hey, 15 health. I am probably losing an, a one up here. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he will save it. Maybe he will somehow save it. Come on, ice. Come on. God damn it. The ice just won't fucking work. Man, that fucked me so hard. The ice is just like, nah. Okay, and then my, like, hook thing would not work. What is going on? Okay. That was multiple hooks right to the face that that guy just ignored. Good. I love how they move around really quickly and you have to headshot them. That is very good. That makes me very moist. Oh, you are fucking joking. Okay. Super do not enjoy those uh, headshot enemies. They do not seem very fun to 
fight, unfortunately. The way you need to get a headshot to get the health and ammo out of them, but then they just fly around like crazy, so that's pretty much impossible. Like, okay. Not a fan of that at all. Nice. <laughs> okay, what have we got? A sword down there. I'm going to do everything I can to not use these power weapons until it becomes absolutely necessary. Where are we heading? <laughs> there is apparently a sword just to my l left. Cool. Glad that works as intended. There we go. Haven't missed any lore, have I? Doesn't seem like it. Well, that'll get me a little bit of, a little bit of health back. Okay, lore up to the right, somewhat behind me. Icon of Sin. As it is written in the prophecies of ancient sentinel scripture, the Titans, towering elder demons of the infernal age, would return, unearthed from their immortal slumber. The Titans are believed to be harbingers of the end times, primordial forces of chaos and destruction. Born from the tortured spirit of the betrayer's son, it was by Hiccup, Hell's unholy design, that the Icon of Sin was given flesh. What? The tortured spirit of the betrayer's son? Yikes. The fearsome titan, forged from the essence of mortal suffering, once bore a human soul, a soul now transmogrified and entombed within the still-beating heart of its former self. The betrayer, seeking to free his son from eternal torment within the depths of hell, made an agreement, a pact, sealed by the black fates of darkness, that promised to grant his son the chance to return from death. The son would live again, but not as human. In hell's endless cruelty, the son was damned to become the Icon an inhumane existence bound only to its former humanity by the now disembodied, undying mortal heart. Yikes. It's a yikes from me. What is the thing that we haven't read here yet? Oh, just the Maker Drone weak point. Yay! Nice. Secret to the right. Ah. Quake 2, Descent into Cerberon. Wait, no, is that the way to go? What's here then? Just ammo? <laughs> the ventilation shafts of heaven. <laughs> oh god. Uh, one up. Very nice. Nothing else. Doesn't appear so. Okay, hello friends. That was not the intention. 
But I guess we got it back already, so oh well. Oh, I hate these so much. Really, 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 really don't like these enemies. If you're going to make an enemy that you have to headshot, then, uh, well, I know you don't have to, but it one-shots them if you do and takes a million if you don't, so you essentially have to headshot. Then don't make them fly around like fucking crazy things. That's obnoxious. not possible to get in that one? Doesn't look like there's anything hidden up. Oh wait, is that where we dropped down from? Oh, that's where we dropped down from, never mind. What did that do for us? Just give us a point to jump over to here, I guess. There is something above us here. But I guess we'd have to go this way to... then jump back to it. Oh, it's another mastery token, is it? Oh, well. Are we finally getting the, um... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's a question mark. <laughs> Rip and tear. Nice. Very nice. Complete the album collection in a single save slot. Very cool. I don't know why I thought it... Oh, wait, no. There's a mastery token over there. Was that what I saw? Or was I just confusing the yellow look? It's like above where we're jumping to... To the right. Hmm. There we go. Uh, Hmm. I just don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I never use more than one sticky bomb at once anyway. They're pretty much reserved for the caca demons. I reckon we'll just hold on to it. Okay, another big fighty room coming up. Buff totem nearby. Oh, good. Can I see it before I jump in? Uh, no. Does it show it on the map? No. Oh, God. Is this just... This is just one huge fighty section? Oh, God. Fuck you. Okay, buff totem. Where are you at, then? There you are. That was alright. That was relatively fine. Fuck you. No, it's a Doom Hunter. It's a Doom Hunter. You hate to see it. 
categorically and completely. What the fuck is going on there? Okay. Go to hell, my friend. Wait, we're in heaven. <laughs> God damn it, why'd I do that? What a waste. What an enormous waste. Okay, it didn't give me the opportunity to... Wait, is that a second one? That seems like it's too close to the other one. That'll work. But I feel like there was a second one? But that'll certainly work. Man, that, that fully... Hey. Oh, my... Oh, shit. Wait, are we... Man, I thought we were pretty much done with this room. Are we going in for round two? It certainly seems that way. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is nutty. This is very nutty. Now there is... Hi. You want to give me armor as well? That's very kind of you. is this. The Khan Maker. Every 10,000 years, the collective maker consciousness known as the Singularity births a Khan Maker, a supreme being destiny bound to lead all of her DAC into, until the next Khan is born. The Singularity, which contains the conscious soul data for every maker that has ever lived and died, processes and refines this data as a means of selective evolution. As hierarch of the conscious na neural matrix to which each maker is in interconnected, it is physically impossible for a maker to refuse the collective order of shared consciousness and disobey a Khan. This system has functioned without error since the creation of Erdak until now. With the disappearance of the father, the makers are incapable of creating a successor to the Khan lineage, allowing the existing Khan to hold her claim to the throne indefinitely. So I guess the implication there is the current Khan maker got rid of the father herself? Potentially. Uh, do, 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 do. Sure. Right. Uh, not sure what this is for. Oh, did that open that door? I think it did, right? Yeah, that opens that door. How, oh, can you really get there that fast? I don't know about that one, man. That seems... Well, let's try it. 
Guess so, just about. Hello, lads. Not what I had in mind. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're worthy of a big boy, right? That is worthy of a big boy. Ammo going for you. Lovely jubbly. Fill that back up. Anything in here that I need to be wary of? There's a question mark below the floor around there, but I'm not sure if that's something I can get to yet. Cool, look at that. What is that glowy piece of madness over there? Oh, damn. But you will need to reconfigure the teleporter rings to activate it. We must move quickly, for the icon of sin grows more powerful the longer it is on Earth. Damn, son. Okay, so the thing is over here somewhere. Off the edge, it seems like. Hmm. Is there any way of telling where the correct place to jump off is going to be? Hmm. I don't like this, because you don't know if you jump off, you don't know where the entrance to this secret is going to actually be. There it is. Nice. The Khan Maker toy. Hot. Okay, that is it for over here. Definitely didn't miss anything. Alrighty, on we go. Oh man. Is there any um there is there is a BFG shot over there. Doesn't look like there's any more swords though. Oh no, there's one more sword over there. And then the boss fight is up here, and there's a BFG shot up there. So there are two BFG pickups, so I can fire it two times before the boss. I guess. Hi! How's it going there? friend. Alright. What next? Anything? Anyone else? Oh no! No! Why do you do this? Fuck, man. Okay, okay, okay.
Damn it. Oh, I hate them so much. Oh, I hate them so much. Okay. What have we got? We've got something we don't need around the back here. <laughs> Somehow. Not sure how we actually get to that. Hmm. Very not sure how we get to that. You don't have to boost out and around, do you? Maybe you do. I don't think so. Oh, actually, it's probably up there. Haha. Thank you for the thing I don't need, my dude. Uh, nothing else around this bit? No, okay. 